If you are looking for highly reputable journals to publish your paper, then you are in the right place. In this video, I will reveal five impactful Scopus indexed multidisciplinary journals that offer both open access as well as free publishing options. We will explore their scope, SGR ranking, edge index, latest impact factor, and typical time they take to acceptance so that you can make informed decisions. But before we begin, it is crucial to understand that open access journals mostly involve APC or article processing charges, which has to be paid by authors so that readers can read them for free. On the other hand, subscription journals do not charge for publishing from the authors. Rather, the readers or subscribing institutions has to pay for it. In general, open access journals has higher reach and thus may have higher citations. But if money is something that you want to invest only for conducting research, then you can definitely choose the traditional mode, which is the subscription mode of publishing. Hybrid journals offers both open access as well as subscription option, which is the focus of today's video. Also, if you want to learn how to access paid research articles absolutely for free, then you must check out these videos. Now, without any delay, let's see which are these five journals. First, and one of the finest peer-reviewed journal is Nature. With the highest SGR ranking of 18.509, edge index of 1391, and impact factor of 50.5, Nature is often the first choice of authors wishing to publish high-quality work. Nature welcomes papers from all the fields of science and technology on the basis of its originality, importance, interdisciplinary interest, timeliness, accessibility, elegance, and surprising conclusions. Once you submit the paper to journal, you will usually get first response within seven days from the editor whether the paper will be sent for peer review or is being rejected. And the median time to acceptance is about 301 days. But this is just an estimate which can vary from paper to paper. Also, the review process is highly rigorous and therefore demands more time. The second journal is Science, published by American Association for Advancement of Science. It is also a high SGR rating journal of 11.902, edge index of 1336 and impact factor 44.7. Similar to Nature, Science seeks to publish only the most influential papers that significantly advances scientific understanding. The research must be novel and highly important for broad scientific community. Science welcomes submissions from all the fields of science covering diverse subjects, coming on to the time it takes to acceptance. Ideally, the first decision is made within the 8 days of submission, and the median time to acceptance is around 168 days. Science is also a hybrid journal, which means you can choose between subscription mode or the open access mode. As both the journals Nature and Science are rigorously reviewed and highly competitive, their acceptance rate is quite low. The third journal is Progress in Natural Science, Materials International which is published by Elsevier. It has the SGR of 1.025, edge index of 81, and impact factor 4.8. Coming on to the aims and the scope of the journal. This journal covers all the aspects of new material and technologies such as energy and environmental materials, advanced structural materials, advanced transportation materials, functional and electronic materials, nanoscale and amorphous materials, health and biological materials, material modeling and simulations, material characterization, and so on. This journal did not directly mention the acceptance time, but when I checked some recently published papers, the journal roughly takes about 3 months time from submission to acceptance. So if your work is suitable for it and if you are looking for a quick publication, you may consider this journal. The fourth journal is Fractals, published by World Scientific. It has the SGR of 0.673, edge index of 64 and impact factor 3.3. Fractals welcomes research related to the investigation of phenomena involving complex geometry, patterns and scaling from diverse fields including physics, mathematics, biology, chemistry, economics, engineering and technology, and human behavior. Fractals is also a hybrid journal that generally takes around 150 days from submission to acceptance based on some recently published papers I have checked. Fifth and the last journal in today's list is Advanced Theory and Simulations by Villet. It has the SGR rating of 0.661, edge index of 39, and impact factor 2.9. It welcomes papers related to development and application of theoretical methods, modeling, and simulation approaches in all the natural science and medicine areas. You can read more details under the aims and scope. It also provides a free-to-publish option. The first decision is usually made within 22 days of submission, and the ideal time to acceptance is 82 days, which is quite fast. So these are five highly reputed scientific journals that publishes research from multidisciplinary fields. 
Please refer most up-to-date information directly from the journal's official site as the general matrices and policies may change. Also note that the time taken to acceptance are general estimates and can vary based on the quality and volume of submission that the journal is receiving. While choosing any journal to submit your paper, always go through some recently published paper to get an idea about what kind of work they are publishing. If you want to know how to find a suitable journal based on the subject area or the abstract of your paper, then this video can be of great help. If you want me to create videos on journals for a particular field, just let me know in the comments. For more information about research and publishing, be sure to check out my series of videos on that topic. And if you want to learn how to use AI tools to boost your research paper and academic writing, do not miss out my AI series. Both the playlists are linked in the description below. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe the channel so that you don't miss out any of the future videos. Thanks and I will see you in my next video.